Um, I am at Passaic Valley Sewage Commission. I am performing um, a primary injection test on the medium voltage MCC. This is on our GE Limit Amp Motor Control Center product. So those, those four doors that you see down there, you kind of see the fourth one. These are cubicles that control motors or transformers or any other type of major industrial load that your customer would like. So my customer would like me to inject actual current on the primary and I'm interfaced with my relay right here, GE 750 relay with my InterVista software up. And here's the contactor, a quick crash course on what you're looking at. This is like a brain. This thing down here is like a body, relatively unintelligent, it operates. This right here, if this senses anything going wrong with this, then that right here will tell this to operate and open up and to eliminate the power flow. Three fuses right there for overcurrent protection as well, as well as we also have CTs that are going to be used for monitoring or metering and protection. So we had to wrap this CT with this yellow wire twice because I couldn't get my uh, test set to actually go up as high as I needed to go up. So we had to wrap it. It only goes up to around 200 amps and I'm going to need this to go up past 200. Um, the rating for those CTs is at 150. And so far for me to actually be able to get up high enough and operate this relay, I'm actually going to need it to be 1.5 times the rating of the CT. So the rating of the CT is 150 amps. I'm going to need this thing to get up to at least 225 amps before operation. Um, quick crash, you don't need to have a comprehensive understanding, but this time delay multiplier is actually all it relates to it are the curves on the trip time. And 1.5 is literally the, you know, times the CT. Uh, this four is right here represents the four seconds that should take the relay to operate. So it should be well, around around that right right around that time period. So I had to go inside of the relay through my USB serial provided by ATAP while I was volunteering this summer in the electrical engineering and robotics program for the youth. Shout outs to ATAP and changing it right here. And now we can proceed with our test. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate this. It's activated. We're going to go up and we're going to go back to the uh, relay and see if it's reading first. So we're going to go up just a little bit. See if the CTs are reading. Okay, they are. Okay, you see a little bit of amperage on phase C. That's only because of inductance. So we're going to go up kind of fast. I'm going to keep you here, okay? Hold on. Pick up. And we're going up. Up. Oh. I continue to go up. So the alarm flashed on the face plate, or the, um, the face of the relay, except I kept going up. So it actually chipped around 225. So we have proper operation. So now we're going to reset. And we're good to go. All right, hope you enjoy. Bye.